Hello, this is Dr. J and I'm going to continue my introduction to finite impulse response filters or FIR filters. In this video we'll do a block diagram of a discrete time filter, uh, an FIR filter, uh, using uh, the basic building blocks of uh, discrete time systems. Basically they consists of a scalar multiplier, adders, and a unit delay block. From this block diagram, we can also create a linear difference equation. So here we're going to talk about the basic building blocks of discrete time systems. We'll start off with the scalar multiplier. It has two basic inputs and we have an output. One of the inputs is the input signal itself and the other is a constant, which are the filter coefficients for an FIR filter. The output from this multiplier is uh, yn is equal to the multiplication between the scalar b and the input x. The second building block is the adder and basically you have two inputs x1 and x2 of n and when you just simply add up those two uh, inputs to get your output. And finally we have a unit delay. We'll symbolize this unit delay as z to the minus 1 and when we talk about z transforms you see why later that this is a unit delay but for now just think of it as you have an input signal and because of the 1 it's delayed by 1 unit okay so our output from this unit delay is a delayed input of one sample so these are the three building blocks to build basically any type of discrete time filter or system now we're going to take the building blocks from the previous slide and build a second order FIR filter. So we'll start off with an input. We're going to multiply it by constant B sub 0 and B0 times Xn leads to an output of B0 Xn. We're going to take that input and feed it to a unit delay so the output from this delay is Xn minus 1 take that uh, output from the unit delay and feed it as an input to this multiplier and we're going to weigh this input by B1. So the resulting output from this multiplier is B1 X N minus 1. Now we're going to take the outputs from these two multipliers and add it. Okay. Then we take the input xn minus 1 and feed it through another delay z minus 1 so the output from this since it's going to be delayed by one sample will give us an output now from this delay xn minus 2 and once again we'll multiply this output from this unit delay multiply it by b2 and the output from this multiplier the scalar multiplier is b2 xn minus 2 and we're gonna add it again so the output is yn which is a resulting uh, which results from the adding up all these three inputs and as you can see yn we're adding bo and xn with b1 and xn minus 1 taking the output of this resulting from this sum and feeding that as an input to this adder and then the other input is b2 xn minus 2 giving us our yn so you can see from this block diagram you can generate a difference equation and you can go backwards given this difference equation you can create this block diagram hopefully this gives you a basic idea how to generate second order FIR filters just a couple more comments on the second order finite impulse response or FIR filter you notice it's second order because we have to use two pass values of the input and that's require some storage before we can compute the final output and we also weigh these inputs these pass inputs with B1 and B2 choosing these coefficients B0 B1 B2 you can create good filters with very uh, nice properties however you would need a much higher order filter to create very good filters and usually FIR filters have a higher order than IIR filters or infinite impulse response filters and we'll show you this in uh, later videos.
Now let's apply some numbers that we just talked about in the previous slides. So we're going to take an input xn. We're going to weigh it by 2. So the output from this first multiplier is 2xn. Then we're going to delay the input by 1. So that's why we have xn minus 1. We're going to feed it through a multiplier and multiply it with a scalar constant of 3. So the output coming from this multiplier is 3xn minus 1. And then finally, we'll add another unit delay. So the output from this delay is xn minus 2. We're going to weigh this by 1. And when you multiply these two, uh, the constant and the output from this delay, xn minus 2, then we get just simply 1 xn minus 2. Then we add up all these three input values to get the output y sub n. And hence our resulting um, second order linear difference equation is 2xn plus 3xn minus 1 plus xn minus 2. Hopefully this gives uh, you an idea of how second order FIR filters can be built as well as higher order filters and you can extend this idea on your own. But you can just basically follow this block diagram and generate your linear difference equation. Now this one has constant coefficients. Also you should need to practice going from here from a linear difference equation and going backwards to create this block diagram. Thank you, and signing off is Dr. J.